Seva Medal for distinguished service to the Indian Army and to the nation. He was the Army Chief during the Kargil War and he is presently a resident of Panchkula, Haryana. Thank you so much, sir, for being with us. And Mr. Suman, sir, I don't need to in, uh, introduce you, a multifaceted person, a television personality, an actor, a singer. Thank you so much, sir, for lending us your support, for being here with us to give this book a platform. Thank you very much. And the publishers of this book for making this book possible. Uh, thank you very, very much. Uh, or the book wouldn't have seen the light of the day. I think to give the book such an elevated platform to make it uh, reach out to such a wide, uh, vast range of audience is a task in itself. So thank you very much to Lead Start. Uh, well, I'm not going to be talking much about the book, just giving the audience all of you. In this cogent and comprehensive analysis, the author, Mr. K. N. Raghavan, traces the origins of the discord to a legacy flawed by the flip-flops of Imperial Britain's unilateral border delineation and the ebbs and flows of Chinese activism in Tibet. The gripping narrative comes to us from the post-1947 scenario of initial Panchchil Bonhomi, yielding place to mutual distrust, aggravated, among other causes, by Chinese paranoia over Tibet and the unrelenting pressure of Indian public opinion. India's catalysmic defeat in the war, which remains a young nation's humiliation, is attributed to the ill-advised forward policy and failure of the politico-military leadership of the time, revalidating Clemenceau's adage that war is too important a matter. So pleased to have with us the author himself present to talk about the book, Mr. K. N. Raghavan, was born in Kochi, Kerala and had his schooling there. Thereafter, he completed his MBBS from Calicut Medical College and went on to do postgraduate studies in physical medicine and rehabilitation at Trivandrum Medical College. In the year 1989, he sat for the civil service exam and joined the Indian Revenue Service. And in the course of his career, he has been based at places as varied as Coimbatore, Calicut, Hosur, Kochi, Mumbai and Singapore. He has also, ladies and gentlemen, before taking up his present position as additional commissioner of customs, excise and service tax in Kochi, like most un other Indians, been passionate about cricket. He's also an empire and credited with the BCCI and has empired one day international matches. He has authored the book World Cup Chronicle and at present he lives in Kochi with his wife Dr. Ranjani and they have a one-year-old daughter as Parya. and so we are so very multifaceted personality and now we have a book uh, through him so we are very very excited to know much much more about it before we do that uh, I'd, I'd request our special guest have a copy ready for you that uh, you could please and General VP Malik and Mr. Shekhar Suman release the book for all of us thank you so very much Congratulations, Mr. Raghun, on your book. Um, well, uh, before we move uh, into discussions, we'd firstly like uh, our, our guests to say a few words. We'll start with General Malik. Uh, so if you can say a few words, tell us about your association with Mr. Raghun and what do you think about his book? Thank you for lifting our spirits every day. Uh, Dr. Raghun, Mr. Sarup Nanda, who's the publisher, Ladies and gentlemen, it's a great pleasure for me uh, to be here uh, and uh, launch this book, release this book, which has been written by a doctor and who is now in the Indian Revenue Service, somebody who is outside the military service. And at the outset, I'd like to congratulate him for a very fine book that he has written. I have read the book, so I can say that confidently. You know, next uh, few days, we would be marking 50th anniversary of India-China war. And uh, as uh, the lady had said earlier, I think it was uh, probably one of our most humiliating uh, chapters in post-independent history, what we went through that time. Raghavan was not born. I was a young officer. 
and uh, I was posted in Ladakh at that time. So I saw the unequal um, combat that took place in that area. Raghavan, when he grew up, he apparently read quite a bit of military history, the wars that we won, 65, 71, 99. And then he started wondering, why did we lose so badly in 1962? I think that is the genesis of his uh, getting interested in the subject, doing a lot of research, a lot of research. And uh, then coming out with a belief, which I shared with him, and that is that most people in India, uh, they are looking at one side of the picture, you know, from our side. And that when you look at any uh, issue from one side and not from all the sides, then you tend to make mistake. Because I do believe that there are a lot of half-truths that have come out by many of our authors. So, I'm glad that he decided that it was time that we came out with a more objective narration of the events in a very sequential manner with a lot of questions that get answered from his uh, book that he has now written. What was the boundary problem? Where did it start? What kind of shifting lines that we, have between, we had between us and Tibet? and with China, what are the Chinese interest in Tibet? And then other questions like how come two countries, probably the ancient, uh, amongst the ancient civilizations, one day they say Hindi, Chini, Bhai, Bhai and after a couple of years they start fighting with each other. Pandit Nehru followed the policy of befriending China, despite the fact that they had occupied militarily Tibet in 1950, August 1950, despite the fact that Sadar Patel in November 1950 had warned him in writing that with the Chinese presence in Tibet, you are going to have a serious problem. 